Good afternoon, Standard 8 students. Today I shall be teaching you the third stanza of the poem Ode to Autumn by John Keats. Now, since he has asked a question, so I quote Where are the songs of spring? I, where are they? Unquote. Now, he is asking the the autumn season, where are the songs of spring? I mean, in other words, he's asking, where is your song? You are also as lively as the spring season. They are also full of song. And their song starts from the morning, from dawn to dusk. He says, but the song of the autumn is different from the song of the spring. Now, the song of the spring starts from early parts of the morning. Okay. And the song of the autumn season starts after sunset. So, when the sun is about to set, it is like a red ball. Okay. It gives a faint light to the fields, to the surroundings. So, at that particular time, these gnats, these insects, a particular kind of insect, they start producing some sound. So they are plenty in number. Together they are like singing a song which has been compared to the song of wailful, a sorrowful or a sad songs sung by the choir. Now the choir is a group of singers who usually sing in the churches or they sing in the theatres or on stage. So a group of singers are called choir in simple words. Okay. So it is a metaphor where the sound produced by these gnats in a mournful tone has been compared to the choir who is singing a wailful or a sorrowful or a sad song. Okay. Now these gnats, where do they make the, these sounds? They fly just above a dirty river near the aquatic plants. And here the aquatic plant is referred to the willow trees. Okay. And when the light falls on the stubble plains, now stubble plains are actually referred to the fields that has just been reaped or cut by the farmers or by the reapers. Okay. So now that light is becoming pain. So they have compared that faint light as if a dark cloud has been overcast. Because after that, darkness will approach or will start. So just before darkness, that faint light where the sun looks like a rose, like a red ball of fire like a red ball. Okay, at that particular time, the autumn season comes to life, where the sound of these gnats are compared to the choir singing, or wailful, or sorrowful, or a sad song. So they are near a sallow river. Sallow actually means dirty. Okay. And in some books it is written swallow. 
So here we are talking about from where this particular sound is being produced from. So near the riverside, near the aquatic plants, these gnats, they fly just above them and they produce this sound, which appears to be a mournful, it's compared to a mournful sound. Okay. Then, this is like here it says, oh sinking as the light wind lives or dies. Now what it means, this sound can be heard as long as there is light. And gradually as it turns dark, the sound fades away. And once it turns fully dark, then you cannot hear the sound of the so like that, like the way the gnats produce this sound and then after, once it turns dark, they don't sing. Similarly is the full-grown lambs. Now full-grown lambs are called sheep or you. Okay. And they, the whole day, the entire day, they are out on the hills grazing. Now they are full. They have grazed and they have, they have eaten enough. Now as it turns dark, these cattle, they know that they have to go back to the sheds or to their homes. And they have to descend from the hill. So while they are descending, because they also have to cross a small stream. Okay, bone means a small stream. And now they are, they are stomach filled, you know, they are very happy. When we also enjoy a good meal. So through happiness, we would also love to sing. To indicate our satisfaction with our food. So these lambs or these sheep, they also make a bleating sound. So during the autumn season, at dusk, you could hear the sound of the sheep and lamb. So that is the music that is heard during the autumn season. Similar to that, you could hear the sound of the crickets and the grasshoppers. The tick, 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 tick sound could be heard. Okay, that is also a kind of a music. Because simultaneously, a red breast bird sings at a very high pitch. But the song is very melodious. It's a very sweet tone or a sweet song. Because most of these birds, when they twitter or when they, you know, produce a sound, it is very musical. And many of these music directors, when they want to produce certain kind of music, they do take the help of the of the tone or the tune that these birds produce or they sing. Now in our school also there is a, the bird, a kind of a bird <laughs> sings very melodious and I enjoy it because it goes like this. Da, 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 da. It sounds really beautiful. Even when I'm teaching in the class and I, when I hear it, you know, it inspires me, it gives me more energy. And I start to, you know, be more lively and, you know, and I could teach much better. So that is the liveliness of the autumn season. And then you will find a group of swallows. 
they are flying high. Now what happens, there are certain insects that come out from the earth and they fly upwards. You know, and it is a feast for the swallow. So they fly and they eat those type of insects. And while they are eating and enjoying the party on top, they also produce a twittering sound which is very melodious. So that is why the poet says, why do we have to depend on the song of the spring when you yourself have got it in you? So the poetry Ode to Autumn is a song in praise of this particular season. So obviously when ev everyone is happy and everyone gets things in abundance, okay, and he gets a stomach full, so he will be too excited or too happy to enjoy what he has just consumed. And that comes out in the form of a song. So whether you could sing or not, but definitely you will, you know, try to show that you are very happy and satisfied. So that is how these birds and these insects, they also they enjoy. Because remember, the autumn season is full of abundance. So these gnats may be having to eat in plenty full of the other smaller insects. These birds also, they eat insects. So together, they are enjoying themselves and singing their hearts out. So, now that is the end of the third stanza. I hope you have enjoyed it. And please complete the given question and answers, the notes in your literature copy and learn less. And do not forget to read the poetry five to six times. Thank you.